Hello, I'm Yasser Cenab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the case TVAR using a custom-made device for the treatment of a large PDA. Patent ductus arteriosus or PDA is a prevalent congenital cardiovascular disorder that accounts for 5 to 10% of all cases of congenital heart disease. Adult PDAs tend to be more complex in terms of size and shape, which can result in additional complications when using routine techniques. Using a non-touch exclusion technique in conjunction with thoracic endovascular repair or TVAR may offer a viable alternative for treating PDA in high-risk complex patients. Our case is a 27-year-old man complaining of exertional dyspnea and progressive fatigue. Transthoracic echocardiography revealed severe left ventricular dilation during diastole and an ejection fraction of 55%. Bicuspid aortic valve with moderate aortic regurgitation as well as a mildly dilated ascending aorta, a large PDA, severe pulmonary valve regurgitation, and a significant enlargement of the pulmonary artery. CT angiography revealed a 20 mm PDA which originates from the descending aorta and 7 mm distal to the orifice of the left subclavian artery. As the patient declined for open surgery, heart team recommended endovascular approach. T-bar was performed while the patient was under conscious sedation using the per-close technique with two proglide devices. Custom-made Zenith Alpha thoracic endovascular graft was inserted through the right common iliac artery. The patient underwent a zone 2 deployment of the custom-made T-bar graft with the coverage of the left subclavian artery. Aortography after TVAR showed complete closure of the PDA without any endolics. The post-surgical follow-up period was uneventful and he was, was discharged with no major complications. Three months follow-up CT angiography showed no endolic and complete occlusion of PDA shunt. In case series published by Lietal for adult patients with large PDA and pulmonary hypertension were successfully treated with TVAR in China. The left subclavian artery was sacrificed in all of our, their patients because of its proximity to the PDA. In another recent publication in Annals of Thoracic Surgery, a, 20, a 27mm patent ductus arteriosus was found in a 31-year-old man with heart failure symptoms. Owing to the side, an occluder device failed to prevent left-right shunting and after left subclavian carotid artery bypass was performed, the patient underwent a zone 2 deployment of TVAR graft. You can see another publication with TVAR in a 53-year-old woman. In summary, recent development in endovascular devices provide several possible options for PDA closure. TVAR will be a good alternative to open surgery in complex patients. Thanks for your watching.